Hello everyone and welcome back to another math video. Today I'll be showing a really cool competition problem that I found recently and how to solve it. So I hope you enjoy. So to start off, I'll write down the problem. We're given that there is some cube with an unknown side length and that uh, this point on the cube is named A, this one is named B, this one is named C, this one is named D, and this one is named E. And we're also given that there is some point P somewhere in the space. Uh, for now, I'll draw it up here. But remember, it could be anywhere. It could be over here. It could be over there. It could be inside the cube, even. And this point P, uh, we're given four pieces of information about it. The length uh, BP, the distance between the point B and the point P, is equal to the square root of 20, 23. The distance between point P and point C is equal to the square root of 20, 22. The distance between the point D and the point P is equal to the square root of 20, 21. And the distance between the point E and the point P is equal to the square root of 20, 20. And for this problem, uh, you're trying to solve for uh, the distance AP squared. I'll give you a, a couple seconds to pause and think about it, and when you think you have the solution, or when you just want to hear what the solution is, uh, go ahead and resume the video. Alright, so to start off, uh, I'm going to give coordinate names to each one of these points. Uh, because the way we're going to solve this problem is by using the three-dimensional Pythagorean theorem uh, along with coordinates to uh, get the length uh, AP. So I'll start by making point A the origin of this, uh, of this space, so 0, 0, 0. And I'm also going to give a name to the length of the side of the cube. I'll just call it S for now. Now, if this length is s, then this length is also s, and so is this one. So that means that point B is 0, s, 0. Point C is 0, 0, s. And point D over here is s, 0, 0. And finally, point E is s, s, s. Since we don't know anything about point P other than the fact that it exists, I'll just give it uh, A, B, and C for now. Now, we know that uh, these four distances, so I'm going to write out each one of these four distances as an equation, uh, as a rake equation using the three-dimensional Pythagorean theorem. Which, uh, if you don't know, states that similar to the Pythagorean theorem in two dimensions, where A squared plus B squared equals C squared, in three dimensions, with three different directions, a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals d squared. Where uh, d is the distance, and a, b, and c are the three uh, orthogonal distances. So, to start off with bp, uh, we see that b is 0, s, 0, and p is a, b, c. Therefore, Using this equation up here, we can get that um, a minus 0 squared plus b minus s squared plus c minus 0 squared is equal to this distance squared, so 20, 23. Next up with cp, uh, c is 0, 0, s, so we can write this as a minus 0 squared plus b minus 0 squared plus c minus s squared equals, uh, the squared of course is 20, 22. Next up, the distance dp, d is s, 0, 0, and so we can write this as a minus s squared plus b minus 0 squared plus c minus 0 squared equals 20, 21. And finally, uh, for ep, since each one of E's coordinates are S, we can write this as A minus S squared plus B minus S squared plus C minus S squared 
is equal to uh, this square, which of course is 2020. Now to clean up these equations a little bit, I will remove all the minus zeros and just replace them with the number. Because of course, a minus zero is just equal to a. So, uh, this first equation becomes a squared plus b minus s squared plus c squared equals 2023. 20, the second equation becomes a squared plus b squared plus c minus s squared equals 2022. 20, and the third equation becomes a minus s squared plus b squared plus c squared equals 2021. 20, then of course the fourth equation stays the same. Um, and I'm actually going to add a fifth equation. So we don't know what the distance, what this AP is. In fact, we're trying to find it. Uh, but for now, I'll just say that AP squared, uh, we'll set this equal to K, since we're looking for AP squared. So if we can find K, then we have our answer. And since this is just a distance squared, we can use the same trick we did with all of these four distances and write it out in this algebraic form. Um, sorry about that. A is at 0, 0, 0, so this one will be rather easy to write out. Uh, it's just a minus 0 squared plus b minus 0 squared plus c minus 0 squared equals, and because we're actually defining k as a p squared, we don't need to square the k, it's just equals k. And I will quickly simplify this down to a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals k. Which means we've transformed our geometric problem with a bunch of uh, three-dimensional geometry into a purely algebraic one. We're given four variables, and we're trying to find this value a squared plus b squared plus c squared. And if you're familiar with uh, a certain trick in competition problems, you may already see the answer. The trick that I'm talking about is to add up these three equations, these top three ones here. And when we do so, we'll get a squared plus b minus s squared plus c squared um, plus a squared plus b squared plus c minus s squared plus a minus s squared plus b squared plus c squared is equal to, actually I'll write that down here, um, the sum of these three numbers. So 2023 plus 2022 plus 2021, which is 6066. Now, if we just rearrange the terms in this uh, left-hand side here, we'll get a squared plus a squared plus b squared plus b squared plus c squared plus c squared plus a minus s squared plus b minus s squared plus c minus s squared is equal to 6066. And we have two of each of these terms, so we can take the two out. So we get 2 times a squared plus b squared plus c squared, remember this is what we're looking for, plus a minus s squared plus b minus s squared plus c minus s squared equals 60, 66. Now at this point, uh, you may think we have run into a bit of a problem, because we do not know what s is. We're not given the side length of this cube. But it turns out we will not need s. And the reason for this is, if we look back at our four original given equations here, we've already used these three, but we have not used this fourth one yet. And as you can see, this fourth one actually has exactly what we need. It gives us a value for a minus s squared plus b minus s squared plus c minus x squared, which means we can substitute 2020 into uh, this term here, which results in us getting 2 times a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2020, is equal to 6066. And now after doing a bit of algebra, divide by 2 on each side here, we get our answer. The distance between point P and point A squared is equal to 2,023 units. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time.